Hi everyone, this is Jennifer. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of the September Coco Daisy kit called Doodles and Dashes. So if that's a video that you're interested in seeing, keep watching. Okay, so as I said, this collection is called Doodles and Dashes. And if you wanna pause um, the video and read Christine's inspiration and note on the kit card, there is that. And then I do have the main planner kit, the modern memory keeping kit, and the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit to share with you guys, along with a lot of extras. So as I usually do, I'm gonna start with the planner focused kits and then move into memory keeping. First up, we're gonna take a look at the main planner kit. And I always like to start with the papers. Um, they are double-sided and they're fairly large and they're designed that way on purpose um, so that you can cover even up to your A5 size inserts or make dashboards or anything else. So they're a very large size and I love them. Usually try to get extras. So these are the prints for the month. Oh goodness. I love that one is going to be a fun themed kit for sure. I love the colors in this. So that's a look at the three main papers. And then you can get this kit without an insert for a cheaper price, or you can choose an insert size and they have traveler's notebook inserts as well as um, some classic vertical inserts and ring bound inserts. So definitely take a look at the website on the drop down and see which insert would work best for you. Um, this is called the standard size Daisy Dory, not to be confused with the simple Dory, um, just the inside pages and the artwork is different. So if you get like the A5 size Dory or the mini Dory or B6 size, um, A6 size, any of those, um, the inside will be the same as this standard size, except obviously scaled up or down to match the paper size. So I'm gonna speed up here and you can take a look at all the beautiful artwork in this month's Traveler's Notebook. So that was a look inside um, the Traveler's Notebook, the Daisy Dory for the month. Um, you also get in the main planner kit a set of die cuts. And one of my favorite things um, in that set of die cuts is a set of six tabs. And they fit perfectly with the labels that come on this sticker sheet. So all of these labels are the perfect size and meant to be used as labels on these divider tabs and these are already adhesive so you just peel the back off and stick those on the edge of your paper or your notebooks and you have a set of planner dividers. You also get two additional sheets of stickers in this main planner kit. One that has an alpha and a nice flag number and then you could use those for dates or lists and some functional stickers. And then you also get a smaller sheet of decorative stickers. You also always get some sort of post-it note. Um, this month's is a rectangle with a nice watercolor background and a dashed edging that says this is a sticky note in case you were wondering, which is super cute. And then this month we got a felt flower on a big wide paper clip which I prefer over like a skinny standard paper clip. So I'm pleased with that. You also always get a daisy pen. So you'll have the daisy on the top and then in the barrel, a crystal. The hardware color changes from silver to gold. And in this month's case, it's black, it has the Coco Daisy logo. And then the barrel also changes to match the theme. So this one is like a translucent white with a leaf pattern on it and it is a black gel ink and if you write a lot you do not have to worry because you also get two black gel um, refills for the ink pen every month 
Um, this has been a new product. Um, it's a pen testing sheet. So if you pull different ink pens or fountain ink and want to test them to see if they match the colors in the kit, you can do that on this side. And then on the back, you have room to do your um, ink testing for your stamps. And you also always get a notepad. And this is this month's. I like it because you can use it functionally to make your lists. And then you also always get a washi. Um, this is a beautiful floral. If I can find the end, I'll show you that opened up. And then sometimes we get a pencil pouch or a zipper pouch, whatever you want to call it. And this month we did um, get a pouch in this specific kit. Sometimes the pouches move to different kits like the planner add-on kit. Um, but this month it did come in the main planner kit and it's a nice linen bag. It does have a zipper pull on the end, which is appreciated so your zipper doesn't go flying off. Um, I like to put my washi and my notepads and pens and extra stuff in here for on the go planning. But I just adore this with the um, leaves, leaves and the live every day with intention and the Coco Daisy logo. I thought that's really pretty. Um, and that is wrapping up the main planner kit for this month. Next, we'll jump into the planner add-on kit. And this is the planner add-on kit, and some of the elements in this kit change from month to month, but you can always ex um, expect a couple of items that I'll show you that keep me coming back to this specific kit. Um, it looks like it's going to be another fun month. I wanted to show you these first. We do not always get these in every planner add-on kit every month, but these are called rub-ons, so you cut the shape out that you want on your paper, put it down and kind of rub it with this stick and it transfers the image onto the paper. And they're just really fun to use and don't add a lot of bulk to your pages. So I'm excited that those are in this month. And then one of the things that um, you can always expect in this kit are some little cards. So this is a four by six card. And of course, the artwork changes to match the theme. Um, I always really enjoy using both of these sticker sets. I use the days of the week and these date dots to date my planner. Um, if you noticed that um, standard size notebook that I flipped through to show you the artwork in the beginning, it is undated. So you could use it any time that you want. And these obviously come in handy. Um, you get a decorative sheet of stickers and then a really fun functional scripty sticker set and i get to use this today smile your box of happy is here and um, it's always fun to mark that in your planner and then you get three smaller cards um, usually one that's kind of decorative you always get what i call the kit color card so this pulls all of the patterns and colors from the kits puts them on one card, and then when you're trying to match accessories or planners, it's easy to reference that card. And then here is an additional project card. You also usually get, I would say always, I can't think of a time we haven't, got a set of die cuts in this kit, as well as a washi. So this is this month's. Um, it's a fun kind of daisy flower pattern with that black stitching. This month we got a ribbon bow paper clip again on the wide paper clip. And this month we also got a charm, which again, not always the case. It's really cute cluster charm that you can hang on your planner. And then this is hard to see because it doesn't have a backing, but we did get this functional um, stamp set. Next up, let's take a look at the dashboard kit. So on this kit, you get six dashboards that are A5 sized. And you can obviously use them as is, or you could cut them down to fit um, the planner size that you're using. Like I could see fussy cutting around this September label with the flowers. So you definitely have some versatility there. And then you're gonna get those same six prints on a personal size dashboard.
And again, since you have a larger size and a smaller size um, between the two of those, you're probably going to find one that works better for your specific planner size. I use these a lot to make my dashboards and dividers, and it's a definite um, must have for me on my subscriptions. For wrapping up some of the planner themed kits, actually I shouldn't say that because there is a memory keeping kit, um, but we're gonna take a look at the stickers. And I have four of the subscriptions here, but there are a lot more on the website. Um, so you'll wanna go take a look and see which ones would fit your specific planner. Um, I use these a lot in my standard size notebook that I showed you, as well as my Erin Condren 7x9 or my Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo. So very versatile, but let's go ahead and take a look at what you can expect from each of these kits. The first sticker kit we're gonna look at is the Daisy Add-On Sticker Kit. It's one of the smaller sticker subscriptions, um, not smaller in size, but just smaller in the fact that you get fewer amount of sheets in this particular sticker kit. So here's a look at the first sheet. And you get a sheet of more kind of functional flags. And as always, the colors and the designs change to match the theme of the kit. This is a transparent sheet of stickers. You get alphas and numbers. And then this is also transparent, so you get some full box quotes and some washi strips. And that's the Daisy add-on sticker kit. Next up, we're gonna take a look at another smaller sticker kit, the Bible journaling sticker kit. And if you ever see people posting and wonder which kit it comes from, there's always a label in that top corner. So this is a transparent sheet, very similar to this sheet. Um, this is definitely more faith-based, um, Christian-based, has some scripture on it. Um, sorry, I said that backwards. This one is the Bible journaling sticker kit. This is more generic. Um, a decorative sheet. You have some quotes, faith, day of worship, he carries me, all sorts of faith-based things, and then some functional labels. And these work really well in your planner. I definitely am one to mix and match. So um, I do do some Bible journaling and I use those stickers there, but I also use these in my planner. So you get a set of date flags, some washi, and then you also get an alpha sheet in this kit as well. And then next up, we're gonna jump into one of their big sticker kits. You get more sheets. Um, this is the classic planner sticker kit. So if you're a happy planner user, these boxes um, kind of fit that planner. If you're an Erin Condren vertical user like I am, you can just trim a little bit off. Um, but that's why I get this specific kit. It works really well in my Erin Condren planner. If you're in an hourly, of course you'd have no issue. And this is one of my favorites with the weekend banners and the check boxes and the headers. You also get some washi and alpha stickers. And then this sheet of transparent stickers that have some more of those fun full box quotes. And then last up is the memory, st st memory keeping sticker kit. You always get this small sheet that um, is on transparent paper one of these and you can tell these full boxes are bigger. I think a lot of people use these in their memory keeping for the happy planner. But again, I just trim mine down to fit whichever size I need for my planner. Another set of date circles. If you like the circles rather than the flags, this might be an option for you. Um, some functional labels, circles, and some decorative stickers. Um, a sheet of alpha stickers, and then wrapping up with another sheet of those transparent stickers. So that's a look at four of the kits, sticker kits that Coco Daisy offers. Again, there are several more, so make sure you check out the website or drop a um, comment question below, and I can probably help help you figure out which kit would work best for your planning needs. We are going to wrap up planning with the classified planner kit. So 
This is kind of meant to be a secret, so if you don't want to watch what's in the classified kit, go ahead and skip forward. Um, if you do want to see, you can keep watching or go onto the website and you'll notice the pictures are frosted out. But if you scroll through, then you can see um, everything that's in the kit. But this is a fun surprise. I have not looked online to see yet, so I'm going to be surprised with you guys. Okay, first up, we can usually expect a vellum, an acetate, or both. This month, this kit does have one of each. This is the acetate for the month. It's a beautiful clear acetate with a flower print. As the seasons change, so do we. And then the vellum for this month is a white vellum with that um, black leafy print that says happy mind, happy life. You always get a Simon card in this kit. Simon is the Coco Daisy mascot. This month we have his co-mascot Gary here. Um, no one noticed that I switched the office to decaf a week ago. And Gary's like, wait, what? So super cute. It's one of the reasons I love this specific kit. And then you get three sheets of stickers. Here's a look at the decorative sheet for the month. This one's really pretty too. Another nice flower decorative sheet. And then a more functional one. Loving all the sayings on this. This is the Mondayest Monday that ever Mondayed. I'm sure we could use that somewhere. So lots of fun functional stickers on here to mark your days of the week. We also got these three felt ribbon paper clips. Of course, they're smaller. You can usually expect a washi in this kit as well. And here's a look at this month's. And then this month we got something new. We have a 03 Tombow mono drawing pen. It's a water-based pigment ink marker. So um, looks like a felt tip or a marker sort of pen. So can't wait to try that out. And then you usually get a clip topper. Um, here's my one for August that says just peachy. So these pop off. And then this part is available in the store all the time. So if you are a subscriber to this particular kit, you might want to go pick up one of these so that you have a place um, to use your clip toppers each month. And that wraps up the classified planner kit. Now we're going to jump into memory keeping and we're going to go ahead and start with the classified memory keeping kit. So again, if you don't want to see um, the surprise, keep fast forward. So one thing that you can count on for this classified memory keeping kit is that you're going to get three of the planner papers. So if you are a memory keeper and want some of that planner paper, um, you can count on this kit for delivering that to you. So that will always happen. Um, the papers from the main planner kit will be in this kit as well. And I love this kit because they have these really big tags in them and they are kind of like perfect for my standard size traveler's notebook. Um, if you use like an A5 size, they would work really well for that as well. Um, probably personal size if you wanted some to hang out over the top of your planner. I um, got this sheet of stickers this month. These little cute tags, I'm going to have to think of a way to use those, those are adorable as well as some coral ribbon. You can put that right in your tags. Super easy, cute way to decorate those. Um, a set of puffy stickers. This month we did get some photo frame die cuts and another set of die cuts. So that was this month's classified memory keeping kit. Coco Daisy also offers two main memory keeping kits. One is called the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and it's called that because it comes with a Traveler's Notebook insert. The other one is the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, and it's kind of um, more versatile for planning or memory keeping um, outside of a Traveler's Notebook, but um, obviously a lot of people buy both of these kits and then mix and match throughout their planners or their memory keeping. Um, because they always match. They all follow that kit theme for the month. Okay, so let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. I've talked a lot about these in the past, so I won't go into a lot of detail. 
Um, but if you're new to memory keeping, this is a great kit to get because Christine designs layouts using all the elements in the kit and then has a step-by-step -step direction for you to follow to recreate those layouts. And I keep all of mine in like a three ring binder and then you can always use those in later months as well. And then this is called the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit because it does come with a standard size um, Traveler's Notebook. So I'm going to flip through this and you can see how the artwork is different. It's more simple, hence the name Simple Dory, um, than the uh, Daisy Dory that I showed in the beginning of my video. This kit also comes with chipboard stickers, which are like on a thicker cardboard chipboard. If you wanna use those in your planning and you don't like the bulk, you can take an X-Acto knife and lift up the sticker portion off the chipboard and use them that way. Um, someone told me that and I always like to share that. It's a good tip. Usually get a set of Puffy Alpha stickers. This month we did get a set of those rub-ons um, or transfers as I like to call them. Um, you also get some standard size dashboards. So these are one-sided, but you can see they're like the perfect size to fit inside a standard size traveler's notebook. So there's the first one. Second, usually get one that has the month on it. And I really like that functional one too. You also get six papers. Three are the same, so they'll repeat. Um, they are double-sided and they are half the size of the papers that come in the main planner kit. So there's a look, we'll go through all of them. A nice floral, one that has some ribbon hangings, a cute little teal one, another floral, a big bold floral pattern, and then a bold black cross pattern. You also get a set of die cuts and a stamp set. This says Today's Good Mood, sponsored by coffee, which is perfect. And the glitter enamel dots that everyone loves to add embellishments to their memory keeping or their planning dashboards and such. And then you also get a washi in this, and this month's is a nice striped pattern. And that is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And we're gonna go right into the Modern Memory Keeping Kit so you can kind of see how those are similar and how they're different. Okay, so you will get instruction set just like you do in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. However, you can see that the layouts are different. So you're not gonna get the same exact um, instruction papers, which is fun because then you get um, even more layouts to try. You also get chipboard stickers in this kit. So here's a look at the Modern Memory Keeping Kit chipboard stickers and you can see that that is different. Um, it's kind of the same kind of layout but with a different colors and some of the wording on the bottom is different as well. So it's not an exact duplicate. And then the same is true with the rub-on. So this is the Modern Memory Keeping Kit rub-ons. And you can see that they are different than the um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. What is the same are your six pieces of paper. So you'll get those exact same six pieces in the same patterns. Um, the puffy stickers, decorative stickers, are different and you do get puffy alphas but they are in a different color. Another set of die cuts. You also get a washi tape and this washi is different than what is in the other memory keeping kit. Whoops. So there's a look at the modern memory keeping kit washi. We did get a set of those photo frame die cuts as well as our favorite glittery enamel dots. And then this is where 
well, you do get a stamp set as well. This one's different. And then this is where the big difference is. So you don't get any type of insert, but you do get a bunch of different cards. These are all four by six cards. I'll flip through those for you guys. And they are double sided. So I'll go ahead and go back through. This one's really fun for like goal setting because you can use a box for each goal. The back of that one has days of the week. This one has the days of the week and dates at the bottom. And then this one makes a really fun calendar card. And then you get a ton of project life-size cards in here. Um, I will flip through them, they are double-sided. Um, I always like to use this one in the front of my planner as a quick monthly reference. Has a Sunday start on one side, whoops, and a Monday start on the other, so whichever you prefer to use. And that is a wrap up of the modern memory keeping kit. So hopefully that showed you um, how both memory keeping kits are kind of similar, but also how they are unique. If you guys have any questions at all about the memory keeping kits, the planner kits, anything, um, I'd be happy to answer those for you guys. Just drop a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy planning. Happy crafting.